Hello everyone and welcome to the Quarantine Summer Sadness Dipper Games Podcast. Hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since we last saw you and it's also been forever since we last recorded as a group or did the podcast. So we're like, let's just let's just do it cuz I don't even care anymore. Who cares? It, it's, it's 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 talking time. <laughs> Put in the footage of Logan accidentally leaving the chat. <laughs> we just thought, let's just do it. Okay, Logan's gone. We gotta redo this. <laughs> Logan's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, should have known. <laughs> I'm putting that in in the ending. That's funny. <laughs> I don't oh, know why fine. that's so funny. You lied. <laughs> why did? <laughs> It usually only restarts Windows Audio. <laughs> what? <lie. laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Caleb, you sounded so depressed when you welcomed him back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's all it's all for it's all for the epic memes. <laughs> <laughs> Soundboard, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. For the record, this is this is a recording combo you guys haven't seen before. So Oh. Welcome to the channel yet again, Aaron. It's been Hi. fifty years. Yeah, it has been fifty years. Show up every once in a while for like some Sims and then I'm just gone again. You gotta you gotta update your Dipper Games appearances playlist on your channel. Uh, you've been telling me that You still like have two, it's been like two years. years. You still haven't it has added been two years been telling me for two years and i still haven't done it <laughs> you did it there's a capital g on games you know no yes there <laughs> is i disagree <laughs> it says that right in the in our uh, group chat <laughs> yeah come on okay okay all right. here's the deal since it's the summer sadness episode we we actually haven't recorded anything i think since uh last september for spooky month uh, for, uh, you guys are gonna see for We Party, but this is, like, the most recent thing you're gonna see. And this is gonna yeah. break new ground, because Future Dipper's actually gonna get it done in the consecutive days after this. So... Unheard yeah. of. I think it's important that we discuss some, some of, some of the relevant topics that will date this episode profusely. So... As we always do. <laughs> yes, that's kind of what we do around here. So I guess the question is, for, for everyone at home and just for general catching up, what have you guys been getting up to during quarantine? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good summary. I've been playing a lot of video games. Yeah, I've just basically been playing video games, watching movies, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. I've just been sitting in my room, patiently anticipating Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So excited, guys. That hope that just removes my heart every time. Pikmin 4 will never happen. <laughs> no, it will happen. I have to believe. Yeah, let Logan have faith. <laughs> I can't even believe. I didn't even get to live out my promise of screaming audibly when it got announced. <laughs> just shadow dropped a freaking trailer. Ruined my life. But I mean, at least they announced the new Tyco this morning. Yeah, that's actually changed my life. Pretty dramatically. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wanted to play new Tyco because I think the Switch version is pretty bad because it's like a budget release where like, you know, it's cheaper, but there's way less songs and way less content than the previous releases, but they weren't brought over from Japan. So it's nice that they're, they're uh, going to finally translate the two 3DS games and I get some content to play. That's fantastic because that's basically all I do anymore. I sit and I play Taiko. <laughs> so there you go. If that's how you get your serotonin, that's totally okay. I don't even know if it works anymore. That's why I was. <laughs> that's why I wanted to import a Wii U from Japan so I could play the Japanese games. Yeah, and then you found out they were all expensive. Everyone on eBay's a scalper or like trying to scam me. <laughs> Very sad. Guess it's your fault for being so scammable. No, it's why I, I, I'm not scammable, so that's why I never get anything online. So I win. 
Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna say you're still the person without the game you want. Well, I have I have played approximately fifty hours of Persona this summer. Still haven't beaten it though. Oh, that's a mode. <laughs> I, I, I I planned for this, so it's fine. Totally um, but sure. I'll max out every confidant, I'll win. Yeah. That's basically what mm -hmm. I've been doing during quarantine. I've played I've played Persona, Pikmin 3 on Wii U, because I'm a good person, and Tyco. And of course, if you've seen the update video that should be out by now, I've been working painstaking hours on hardcore and other projects. So yeah, that's basically that's been that's been my summer. Which, you know, productive, but I'm starting to go a little insane. Yeah. That's a mood. I'm glad I don't have Twitter anymore, to be honest. I can't believe I got terminated. I still don't understand. When, when did you get terminated? <laughs> it was it was during the holiday last year. I just, like, I, I noticed that my birthday on it was wrong, so I changed it, and then they just freaking, they terminated me. They're oh. like, you're bad. And I'm like, what? Why? And then I realized I don't care anymore, but... Yeah, I've been- I think I've had three accounts permed now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't remember half the things I put on my Instagram anymore. It's, it's all just a blur. It's not fun anymore. I used to, like, have fun posting random stuff, but now I just don't feel inspired to do it. It's yeah, just... I can't really enjoy it so much either. And none of, like, the communities that you might have wanted to be a part of then are fun now. There are no good communities. Exactly. <laughs> no. Everyone's just mean. I have a question. What is the strangest thing that you've seen this year? <laughs> that is a loaded question. <laughs> I think probably the strangest was probably that video of the, of the person taking the burnt cookie, putting it on oh. the cheese cream. <laughs> I think that's like a deer head. <laughs> So weird. I don't understand what that video is. I, that's a really good video. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've seen, Logan? Uh, it'd probably be those photos that I think the U.S. Air Force released about like some weird, those weird grainy images about aliens. <laughs> oh, the UFOs. <laughs> yeah, and like no one talked about it. <laughs> Dude, no, <laughs> no. I found it was it was the lead the singer hilarious. of Blink 182. <laughs> he leaked them. And then the US Navy came out and were like, yeah, those are real. Where did he even get them? Is the more appropriate question. I don't know. He I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it was just funny. That's an insane power move, okay? Holy but the US government's crap. like, yeah, no, those are real. <laughs> Thanks, just... Blink. Thank you, Blink 182. And it's like, can, you don't even see conspiracy theorists take it anywhere. It just nothing happened with it. Like people talked about it for like a couple days and then it went away. I think like <clears throat> the, the other weirdest thing I've seen was Flight looking at the video of the of the pterodactyl and be like, I swear I've seen one of those before. Gunglio <laughs> steals. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Aaron, Aaron, what have you even seen? I don't know. I don't think anything I've seen holds a candle to the, some of the stuff you guys are coming up with. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we lead to very different lives. <laughs> oh man, maybe I can think of one for you. Okay. There's you gotta be that. there's there's gotta be something that you've seen that's bizarre. Um, everything. <laughs> Didn't I force you to watch like part of the Fred movie on Valentine's Day? <laughs> That's a really good movie. I don't think you did. <laughs> no, you were just sitting on that couch looking away from me playing Mario Kart Tour the entire time. I was watching by myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That did happen. <laughs> I was like, I really don't want to watch this. And you're like, we're going to watch this. I'm like, all right. <laughs> the Fred movie's awesome. <laughs> I used to watch it all the time. Do you like the scene where he, like, cooks the saw? <laughs> I don't remember that scene. <laughs> oh, come on. He deep fries a sock, and then it's like, it's, it's a joke. Honestly, right now, all I remember is him putting, like, fake American cheese on his fries and microwaving it, <laughs> and me being absolutely disgusted by it. That's what Sonic fries are. You know this. Wait, really? Yeah, it's, wait, wait. Do it right now. Search up Sonic uh, cheese fries. 
do it. It's it's fantastic. Okay. It's worth it. It's a. Oh, what the I, hell? I, I, like oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm glad I've never gone to Sonic. Sonic. Hey, they I are don't fast. think I ever will. Jeez. Yeah, it's just cheese uh, fries from Sonic. Yeah, that's no thing. Oh. You see what you get, oh. right? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Remember, remember when in like 2014, the funniest thing we had was like the Smosh uh, Instagram page, and they had like the one meme from Sonic, and it was like a Valentine's Day poem from Sonic about liking ketchup or something, like roses are red, ketchup is good, buy a corn dog or something. That was like the funniest thing for like a week. I feel like so. I'm just like having like some sort of like freaking flashback. <laughs> <laughs> like just a 2014 <laughs> flashback you just hear the you just hear the song just like rattle around in your head <laughs> i i have to i have to be honest i feel like that's what most of this whole thing has been i like really all i can remember that i've done in the past month is like all of the the movies that i've seen because i like i saw some i saw some good stuff i saw i saw totoro and kiki's delivery service but then i also watched high school musical <laughs> Good. Uh, it was an experience. What's the other weird movie I saw? Oh no, it wasn't a movie. It was it was episodes of Victorious where yeah. Aaron can vouch for the fact that I laugh at that show way harder than any person possibly should. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is that show? It's I don't understand. How do you even describe? Because like the it's premise doesn't sound. It's basically it. Drake and Josh. But the almost the entire cast is female, and they go to a school for for the arts. The arts. And everyone's got a wacky talent. It's like Danganronpa. Okay. My bald Doug Walker Halo video has <laughs> six sixteen k views. God damn it! You're about to overtake Dark Oak Tree. <clears throat> I'm still I'm still above Step you, aside. Caleb. Well, okay, you know you know what I've realized recently? I feel like we haven't really had a dedicated conversation to, like, bizarre elementary school memories. Oh, no. Great. And I, I, I don't know about you guys, because, like, there's, there's too many stories, and I feel like a lot of them could be saved for, like, an actual, like, video. But maybe maybe just for this funny ha-ha podcast, let's reminisce on, on your personal favorite traumatic weird story from elementary school because i have too many i can't even pick one i don't know whether to go the funny route or the makes me mad even thinking about it route i'll, I'll go just... last <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> yeah i'm excited to see what caleb's number one pick is because it's really funny to me mm-hmm. it's the only thing i can remember it's sad and i don't want to talk about it yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, get, I, I get you man I um I want to I want to make this like an actual like service announcement because I do strongly feel that Logan was mistreated during elementary school and it makes me very upset. Very much. It makes me I wasn't mad. I was there but I'm going to agree. Uh okay, I don't remember. Maybe there's a reason but I don't remember. Well, I just prof- I profusely <laughs> feel bad. Not. I I didn't do as much about it as I should have. Things got better near the end but like I I just remember because for those of you who don't know uh, Caleb, Logan, and I, we all, we were all friends in elementary school. We've well, known each other for a very long time. But, yeah, as Caleb just said, uh, there were, like, weekly, like, group fights. Oh, all the time. No Most reason. It was so Caleb, fun. It, it was so fun. Many of them <laughs> involving verbal abuse and or violence. Oh, mostly violence. <laughs> mostly oh, physical. Like, mostly oh, physical. Oh, violence. Mostly physical. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, oh my god, that, yeah, that, uh, <clears throat> the administration there was awful. <laughs> the biggest thing I remember at an indoor recess thing was people snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was, uh, no, no, people would do that in the back near the, the baseball diamond. Yeah, 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 people would always <laughs> do it. I remember someone in my elementary school used to do that, and then we when we got into high school, I think our friend Anna mentioned it to our history teacher, and she's like, so that's why he is the way that he is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. This should just be the freaking elementary school reminiscing podcast, because I feel like there's a lot that we could do with this that people oh, might probably. be intrigued by. <laughs> hey, 
from what I see on podcasts, it's mainly just stories and topics about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is So, I think we're doing it right? Yeah. <laughs> we're doing okay. Oh, man, I'm trying to remember, because there were many times where, like, there would be actual, <laughs> like, clans on the schoolyard where they would charge at each other and it would be, like, group but nothing, brawls. Nothing, nothing compares to the snow fort battle. <laughs> is this when we finally talk about the snow fort battle, or is that something we this say is... for Christmas? Let's talk about it now since I brought it up. Okay. <laughs> and Let's now if it. we just end it, that's going to feel weird. Okay, which one, though? Oh, there were multiple. This is going to be such a treat. I have not heard these I stories. I think the pinnacle one, I feel like that's a New Year's story to, to really the... go out with. Cause... What year was that, then? That I think was, it was the, the final one. Though. The final the one, one to end okay. them all. Maybe let's have this be like a like a trilogy. Uh, okay. I know about the very first one because <laughs> I kind of started it. Well, what happened Not was surprised. a, we were making stuff. I think this was grade four, and like some like kids in grade seven and eight kept destroying our stuff. So we all got together and waited for them to show up, and I started like talking shit to them. And then one of them went to charge for me, and I, like, tackled him to the ground, and they just got... And then there was, like, two grade 7 eights and, like, 20 grade 4 kids, <laughs> and it was just this massive brawl. It was so funny. I never, I never got into the fight, though. I think it's worth mentioning that our school's, like, supervision was useless. Oh, they did literally. nothing. All they would do was they'd bring us into the office... Talk about what happened, and then say, okay, now apologize and go back to class. Well, nearing the end, we, we realized that you could do anything, and the, the supervisors would just stand there and watch, and they wouldn't do anything. So, like, well, it's because they're not allowed to. Yeah, we'd, like, there was, there's, like, this gully on the yard, <laughs> the legendary gully, where just, like, uh... it at the edge, it just slopes off, and that was very forbidden, because someone could break a leg, and you wouldn't be able to drag them out or something. Every winter, people it... would run over there and just jump <laughs> into the snow, because it piled up. It froze. Yeah. And it, it froze, froze. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were frozen slides. I remember, I remember, there was one, there was one year, or at least a week, where one of the superfighters just went, screw it. And just watched as people go down. Yeah. Like he he was standing up on the top of the slide, like like a wat like a water park, <laughs> and just making sure no one hurt themselves. <laughs> I mean, he's so doing fun. his job. There's no reason you don't need to be down there. Yeah, I mean, the only uh, I, think, I think it, I think it's because that at the very end of the gully there were fences to houses. Yeah. So they didn't want kids like jumping over the fences and going into people's <laughs> properties, which I get because. The student body there was, like, actually just something entirely different. Yeah, because it was like, my school had all kinds of houses nearby, but, like, they never fenced us off. Yeah, because your school probably had a much better student body. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I think, I think Aaron's school had the problem of having, like, less budget than ours, even. Oh, yeah, yeah we were, like, they never wanted to pay for anything. Didn't they, like, remove your playground and all that was left was, like, a bunch of, like, poles and it was, like, less safe than before? It was, like, poles and wooden planks and there were, like, bolts sticking out of it. Like, some kids got hurt, like, nice. these assumed it was the best spot for a nest. And because, like, there were no slides or anything, there was nothing to do. So people just started climbing on it in dangerous ways. <laughs> <laughs> the teachers were like, no, don't do that. But they never really stopped us. Oh, man. It's just it's just so funny because I remember like at least with our our group I always took the approach of being the freaking goody two shoes who would do try and do no wrong but <laughs> always ended up getting in trouble for no reason because the supervisors were just looking for reasons to get people in trouble like oh, I yeah. started off early we're talking like grade one there are these kids this is my trauma story this is the beginning of it all so get get ready folks this is this is Dang, the one we really had summertime sadness i think this is it's the like... proper summertime sadness i think we've hit our stride we have to keep going with this <laughs> i'd usually be on my own at recess it was kind of just how things went uh, I, I i i've blocked most of it from my memory but i'll never forget i was bored and these this group of kids were throwing rocks over the fence 
uh, I was just watching, and I kind of just, I picked up a few rocks, and I kind of just tossed them underhand, like, it, it didn't go anywhere, I was just bored, and obviously, a teacher comes over and starts, like, having a freaking aneurysm about the fact that, God forbid, these kids throw rocks at nothing, um, and I, I, I thought I hadn't done anything wrong, I didn't throw anything that far, I didn't really do anything, I was just watching, so... You know, I, I, I kind of just, <laughs> I tried to just walk away casually, but she freaking turns around and she's like, You too! And I'm like, oh my god. I know the reason why they don't like people throwing rocks at stuff. Uh, and I might partially be responsible for that. <laughs> of course! Of course! And like a huge group of people in kindergarten used to have rock fights. <laughs> so we just th start throwing stuff at each other. <laughs> You threw rocks at me in grade four because you didn't want me near your Lego. <laughs> it's like how you guys became friends. Oh yeah, that is the origin story of how we became friends. You threw rocks at me and then you invited me to the movies. That was the story. Oh, yeah. Tintin. Friend. Yeah, friends Tintin. Did you know why they call him Tantan in uh, Japanese? Because Tintin is like slang for genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> I had to change Puck Man to Pac Man in the last. Because people would just like replace the, the P with an F. <laughs> That's really funny. Duck Man. Suck Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a bad direction. Hold on. Okay, here's the, here's the thing that, that is infuriating to me though. Because she's, like, losing it on me. She's like, how dare you throw the rocks? And I was like, oh my god. That's how I remember it, because I was little. And I didn't think mm -hmm. I had done anything wrong. But all the while, while the freaking supervisor was yelling at me, all the other kids ran away. So I ended up being the only person on the wall, because they'd send people to the wall for recess. And uh, I, there was, it was me and one other person, and that was it. And, you know, I literally, I'm standing there literally, like, crying. And then this freaking twerp, he runs away, too. So I'm just standing there, freaking bawling my, my eyes out. And then they bring me, they bring me to to my classroom like the 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 supervisor like brings me there and uh it wasn't even my homeroom teacher it was a it was a substitute that day so she didn't even none, none of these people knew who i was so they didn't oh actually don't understand. even get me started on the substitutes oh, oh my god yeah like they bring me there and she's like you want to see what i saw your student doing and, I, and, and i'm like just like basically like crying <laughs> it's like throwing rocks and and she's like oh you were throwing rocks were you what do you have to say to that and i'm just like i don't know and uh yeah that's basically my trauma <laughs> child origin. they need to chill they, that's how i remember it it probably wasn't as aggressive but to a kid it's like terrifying because it's like i didn't do anything i've been framed <laughs> and that happened many times and over the course of the years, because I was always a target of this, you know, it was just the same thing. It happened over and over. Previously on the channel, I told about the story where someone literally threw grass at me and I got in trouble because I was... They were, like, they were basically looking for a reason for me to be in trouble. Like, they were just making up excuses. It's, like, classic Authority 101. Oh, are you in the wrong and you mistook someone for being, like, a bad person? Uh, make up a reason why so you can't be wrong. So they're like, oh, you were too close to the gully. And I'm like, I'm not even in it. I'm just, like, in the proximity to it. And she's like, just, just go to the tarmac. And I'm like, jeez. So that was an epic story. But basically, this all concludes with us making the decision to just break the rules as frequently as possible. Because it didn't matter either way. You follow the rules, you get in trouble. You don't follow the rules, you usually don't, don't get, in get in trouble. So we basically just... Precedent. We made a point to just do what they didn't want us to do, which usually ended up with us just walking directly into the gully. <laughs> they would yell us to get. So what would happen is we go in the gully, they yell us to get out, we get out, and then we just go right back. <laughs> yeah. Like they didn't care. They didn't care. It was so funny. I I have a very dumb story about very early, like I think grade one or two. Okay. This this one is just dumb. <laughs> okay, let, let's hear it. So basically, someone I knew in my class, I was just walking around by myself doing whatever the hell I did and he just walked up like hey can you watch make sure no teachers come I'm just like why it's like oh I just got a piss over there and they won't let me inside <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah so, oh, and me God. being the, just being me I'm just like okay <laughs> right, so cool. I just watched I just wa did basically 
watch to make sure no supervisors came. And one did. What the? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, what was the expectation? Just Distract like, them. Your pants as a teacher. <laughs> Bro, stop. So, so they just sent me to the office with the dude, and the dude's what? like, why were you just letting him piss outside? I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I? They blamed you for it? Actually, yes. It's like, why did you let your friend piss outside? Why did you tell him not to wait? Because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That, okay, that is literally the epitome of what the supervision was like at our school. It was, oh, you're in proximity to trouble? Oh, you're banned. Like, what the hell? Using. I, dude, I got away with so much stuff, though. You did! Didn't you like, got so, away with a lot. Stuff that I should have been, like, suspended for. <laughs> well, Genu see, Genuinely. I think you learned early on that no oh. matter what you did, there were no consequences yeah. because whether or not you got in trouble, it didn't matter. Whether or not you passed or failed, you were still gonna graduate. I finally have a respect for it because at first, I, you know, I, I, I wasn't always the biggest fan because I didn't like seeing you get in trouble, but you'd always end up fine. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, no, I'd be fine. <laughs> so I think that's why things ended up going the way they did in the last year. Um, also, if anyone's confused, elementary school in Canada is grades one to eight. So actually, yes. it depends on the place. For example, like Toronto, Toronto doesn't do that, school. but for some reason, in our weird little city, they do. Most most parts of Canada do the way we do. Oh. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know why Toronto doesn't. I think it's maybe because they have a lot of immigrants in Toronto, so... I guess. I don't really know. I, yeah, I honestly don't know. It's I mean, very weird. If you guys think our school couldn't have gone, like, downhill more than it already did, when we graduated the year after, I, uh, I revisited the school, and it legitimately, and this is not an exaggeration, the school smelled like rotting meat, and I'm not joking. <laughs> It was mortifying. <laughs> I yeah, will never surprised. feel as genuinely ill as I felt that day. It was really, really bad. <laughs> Administration is just giving people tools to misbehave. It's so funny. It's, it's really funny to me because basically the way our school worked was like the amount of ways you could get in trouble were like so extensive that it, it goes beyond rationale in oh, every definitely. possible way. It would be like if it was mildly wet outside, if you st <laughs> if you stepped off of the tarmac, you would be shunned. But if it was like freezing to the point of frostbite weather, they'd lock you out of the school. I remember, do you guys remember the day when it was so freezing that all of the kids, just like every single kid in the school, went into the amphitheater and we all had like a boycott rally where we're all chanting yes. let us in it was the funniest <laughs> thing ever it's all these little no, kids funny. Yelling, I, I, do I, remember I, that. I do remember that um not the same day but it was a similar day where it was like extremely cold i think there was a blizzard happening but they still sent us out um and i was <laughs> yeah. just sitting i was just out there in like like jogging pants and a sweatshirt <laughs> i and the principal or the VP comes up and like, do you? Why are you out here in this? I'm like, because I don't have a jacket on me. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and, he just walked, and he just like walked away. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Uh, yep. Oh, here's okay. We will surely get back to this individual later someday because i don't think we can fit in every single offense he's ever done but we're gonna call him mr rock because that just seems fitting mr rock something else that starts that's a that's actually pretty good i'll, I'll admit that's pretty fitting <laughs> i should have um, called him that <laughs> like while i was there but i know I, <laughs> oh uh, i know who that is we could have Sorry, him. it just occurred to me. <laughs> okay, if you could describe Mr. Rock in just a few words, the vice principal during our time there. Am I allowed to swear? I'll censor whatever you have to say. Hey. But I want to... Genuine <laughs> head. I was going to go genuine dumbass, but that works. <laughs> that too. <laughs> 
He's very self-righteous. He felt as if he was amazing. He was like saving the lives of students who had no friend. He defended like the crocodile weak. Crocodile rock poorly. <laughs> <laughs> he, could, he really couldn't. He performed crocodile rock in front of the whole student body, and it was just genuinely awful because he couldn't sing. But he, but he had no idea. <laughs> So he's just like not hitting any notes. <laughs> just, remembering, oh. just remembering that is cracking me up. I it's I don't I don't remember that. He did it I during can't. the assembly. I remember that. But he also he was he he during gym class he taught us the crocodile rock and he couldn't do it. I don't remember Ooh. that. All right, main thing I remember was him with him was running around in a circle listening to Pompeii. Oh, oh, the Pompeii running circle. So, with that, I've <laughs> kind of lost the PTSD with that song. <laughs> I cannot I actually it. enjoy it. Because it's actually it. not a bad song. But yeah, no, it... <laughs> <laughs> every time, every what was it every day? Every, every day, day for gym, gym warm up. Every every gym day for warm up, he'd have us run around the gym. He'd, he'd have us do laps, and we had to listen to Pompeii. But I don't even know who it's by. <laughs> yeah. Bastille. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't it by Bastille? Yeah, and that song etched itself into our brains. <laughs> Man, there are so <laughs> many. There are so many layers to this man because there's the vice principal. There's the gym teacher, and then this there the is the teacher. health teacher. There the were three. Oh, I, don't know, I don't even know. class is hilarious. I don't even know where to begin on that stuff, because, like, I mean, for the gym, like, I remember we were playing basketball or something, and we finally ended up in a group together, and we were really excited because that never happens, yeah, and he just never let teacher, us play. Our teachers know better. <laughs> To be honest, they had every right not to put us in a group. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've told Aaron this a million times, but it just never gets less funny when you think about it. Because our, our grade 8 teacher, she knew that we were like, we were basically just troublemakers at this point. Because we didn't really, we didn't do anything bad. We were just annoying. Because we, we had too much fun together. Because for those of you who need, like, a reference to what we were like, just look at any video from 2014, basically <laughs> Dipper Game Survival, if you if you have oh, the guts yeah. to watch that. That's what she dealt with every day. Every and single day. She kept trying to separate us, but we had so many friends in that class. It was impossible. It was just, there was no point. She gave up. I feel so Remember? bad for her. I do. I, I feel horrible for her because of the stuff that we put her through. Do you remember when... <laughs> Who was this? You know who just started watching Family oh, Guy? That's my favorite story. Can I tell that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we start with the pencil stabbing? Is this uh, the right time? I think you have told the Hold pencil on. stabbing story, so it's not a bad Hold place on. to start. Hold on. But... No, 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 no. I knew him longer. I think I should, I, I think I should probably start this. I'll do a quick rundown. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, this individual, I'm not going to name him. It all started in first year of kindergarten. Um, the inciting incident <laughs> was he hit me in the... Or, okay, so at first it started, he destroyed something that I made in, like, playtime. I got mad, but I didn't do anything. Uh, I think I yelled at him, but that's about it. After, like, at the end of school, as he's carrying chairs, he thwacks me in the back of the head with a chair. So I turn around, grab his arm, and just bite. <laughs> now... What's crazy about this, we both get sent to the office, and originally, he was not going to get suspended, and it was just going to be me. But my parents, like, complained about it, and we both got suspended for a day. And then ever since then, we've just been getting gotten into constant fights. Just ev almost every day, it was just, I, we, like, just attacking each other in various different ways. Like, this went on for a long time. Remember in grade four, you guys were trying to play Pokemon and, like, Digimon, some sort of crossover, and you guys just ended up, like, in a, like, full-on fist fight. Yep. <laughs> it's so weird! Because, like, he he flip-flopped between being, like, that that one aggressive friend and then being number one enemy. <laughs> yeah. Just for, like, different people at different times. Like, I might have told the stabbing story, but basically he sharpened a pencil to the point where it was, like, an actual weapon. 
and he said that he, I was annoying him, so he stabbed me directly in the side, and I was bleeding. It's pretty cool. I, I don't think he got suspended for that, did he? No, I have I have a scar from it still, and you, you messaged your mom. Jackson just got stabbed, but... <laughs> um, I, I, I remember you just called me over and be like, he stabbed me! I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember one time he gave me a note uh, to the oh, after yeah. school to come, come to like the baseball diamond, and we'd have like a fight, and he'd bring a baseball bat, and so I'm like... I go, okay, and I, me and three of my friends actually showed up with baseball bats, and he never showed. I remember that note. You showed it to me. Uh, we showed it to our teacher as well, but yeah. but I remember they tried to rip it up, but we still had it. Like, and again, he never really got in trouble. Yeah, so, like, after he, like, actually assaulted me, like, I was bleeding, right? Like, I know it's a pencil, but I was stabbed with it. We yeah. like we told like the the administration and they got like the police involved like a police officer came over and nothing happened nothing happened nope. not funny I don't even think it would count as aggravated because there was zero reason for him to stab you that's true uh, well he claimed that I was annoying him but if you guys the, know what I'm like is, I'm always the thing annoying. Is, th yeah that um <laughs> encounter you were just standing at the door yeah I remember we doing were in line. nothing. And he just came up to you and stabbed you, and then said you were annoying. <laughs> yeah. For no reason. So no, he he, he should have like gotten at least some like not not like gone to jail. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Well, his but defense was that. Oh, I didn't know it was that sharp. It's a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> but if like John Wick can stab someone <laughs> through the ear into the brain with it. This is true. I think it can go through someone's stomach. But, um, yeah, so that basically sets the stage for this incident. If you know how, like, all over the place this guy has and his track record, this story is just a lot more funny. Because in the moment, it was one of the most hilarious things. It's not as funny to explain, but I'll still, I'll still tell it. Because um, I was sitting beside him in class, um, and it was during class, and we were doing, like, you know, a lesson. And he's on his phone watching Family Guy. <laughs> And this is, this is like grade eight, right? So it's not exactly appropriate. And she sees him and she's like, hey, turn that off. She get, like gives him a talking to and he's like, all right, fine. And like, not even like two seconds later, he just turns it back on again, watching Family Guy. And at the time it was just really, really funny. And I couldn't stop laughing about it. It's just so bizarre. <laughs> I mean, I still think the funniest thing mm. ever is the tree story that no one has ever believed me about unless you were there. What tree story? I don't think I've heard this. I would tell people over and over, I know how the tree at the garden got snapped in half. And no oh, one would ever believe me. didn't jump into it? Yeah, we used to play, we used to play, uh, grounders at this, like, little, like, foresty area with, like, logs and trees, right? And, uh, that it was, was like maybe the day. size of like two couches, and that's it. Yeah, it was it was really fun. It was like it was like a daily thing, pretty much, because it was fun for us. And it, basically, it would get really like serious. And <laughs> this guy, the guy, the guy who stabbed me with the pencil, uh, he he tried to avoid the the person who who was who, who what are they called? <laughs> who's the person who's the grounding the people? The grounder. The grounder? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's avoiding the, the grounder. I call, always called him the groundhog. <laughs> I didn't know they had a name. I didn't play grounders very much. Yeah, people used to play it on the playground and they'd get, like, actually, like, damaged. It was okay. very dangerous. <laughs> uh, what, was that one, what was that one version of tag we played? Oh. Uh, uh, that we would just, like, it would be man all hunt? over the field. Manhunt, thank you. Oh, manhunt. We got lots of manhunt stories, too. <laughs> But, uh, basically, you know, we're playing grounders, it gets really heated, he's trying to, like, avoid the grounder, so he, like, grabs onto this tree, grabs onto the branch, and he, like, you know, he tries to get back as far as he can, uh, but he, like, he's trying to mess with us, right, so he starts, like, swinging the branch up and down to distract the grounder, and the person who was trying to get me, I was super distracted, so I swung around the tree that I was hanging on to, and while I'm, like, not looking, I just hear a huge thwomp, and I turn around, and you just see him on the ground covered in tree branches. 
literally the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life because he like takes the branch, like the giant tree branch, because this tree is like broken in half, and he just takes it into the school. <laughs> And, and then one of the teachers got mad and their solution was to take the entire tree and just throw it in the garbage bin. So you're just in the middle of the school with a tree in it. God, what a disaster this school was. Do you remember, uh, remember that time those two guys, uh, this is when the, the wasp problem was very bad at our school. And there was a garbage can in the middle of the amphitheater where everybody left. And two guys went out early, grabbed it, and put it right in front of the door where everybody goes. So a massive swarm of wasps just are there. And they and they get them all pissed off. And so people run out and there's just this like huge swarm of wasps. It was so funny. I remember that. God, man, a lot of the things you're telling me, you're giving me new context to them. Because I remember that and I didn't understand why. Now I know it was an actual, like, meditated incident. I also remember one time a couple guys, I was actually there when they did it. There were a couple of my friends. Um, I was there when they did it. It was in the winter. And then there was, like, a shovel sitting next to the door. And how the doors work is they're like those, they're like those double doors that have, like, the handles that you just pull open. Oh, oh my god! So what they did is they took the shovel... <laughs> And stuck it in between the handlebars so it couldn't open. <laughs> I remember. I just, and I was standing at the top of the amphitheater <laughs> laughing my ass off. And people were trying to push. And just, it just kept getting stuck. And I think the, the shovel actually broke <laughs> yeah, okay. in like half. I have a perspective to this because I was I was laughing so hard watching at the top of the stairs inside. So I see this giant group of kids just trying to push the door open and it just breaks and everyone floods out. It was so funny. I, I, think, I think I remember seeing a busted shovel. Yeah. But I don't remember if I was part of the mob or laughing up on the top. I'm fairly sure I was probably part of the mob because I wanted to get out of that school as quickly as possible. Yeah, I, oh, think, yeah. I, think I, I think I gave them the idea we were talking about it. Because we got out early. I don't remember why we were outside early, but we were. and Probably because we just dipped early. But, you tended um, to do that, Caleb. Yeah, we did. Uh, I don't think they were the ones who did it, but I think there was a couple other people with us who were, who were there. But anyway, we were talking about it, and then a couple of the guys were like, oh yeah, okay, sure, and they go and do it. <laughs> And we're just sitting, like, in the cold, just laughing our asses off. It was so funny. Caleb, didn't you get into a fist fight with a girl? Oh, I almost broke her ankle. <laughs> I thought you did break her ankle, or was that Wait, a did I? I think I... you did. Yeah, I think you did. She was like, you broke my ankle. I'm like, you have to understand that Caleb doesn't mean these things. They just happen. I didn't, I didn't realize I actually broke... Oh my, I'm... I feel horrible now, but I didn't realize I actually broke her ankle... I thought I just like, either like like, I don't know what I don't know what I thought. She was kicking me, so I'm like, okay, well, if you're gonna start kicking me, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight back. And I, I think I stomped on her ankle really hard. <laughs> oh yeah, she was like on the ground. It was pretty it was pretty terrible. Cause I I you know for I was gonna say for those of you wondering like this was like you know this was instigated. Yeah, I was. Listen, she was the one attacking me. I was defending myself. <laughs> It's worth noting also that I'm actually a pretty nice person. I know, but she was just, for some reason, really mean to me for no reason. Yeah. For, like, no reason. We'd just fight. And we'd have fun with it, too. Like, she didn't... Like, we, we would literally bleed. And we'd be like, that was fun. <laughs> she just liked fighting you. What? I think she just liked fighting you. Yeah, I think so, too. But I, I, I had fun, because I got to fight someone. <laughs> Speaking of fights, <clears throat> do you remember when there were like two mobs of the school, one on one side, on, one on the other, and they just ran at each other, and it was like an actual like mosh pit, basically. Oh, I was a part of that. We were we no, we were all watching from afar. Wait, was I not a part? I thought I was a part of no, that. No, I think I think we were all just watching because we turned around, and it's just like two two giant groups of kids just attacking each other. Oh, yes, I do remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were we were. Was this in the winter? I think it was, like, n near the end of the winter. Near yeah, because we, we were just, like, kind of talk. I think we were just walking and yeah, talking. Yeah, we tended to do that a lot because yeah. there was nothing to do. 
Yeah, because at that, because at our age, we're like, it's not fun to roll around snow anymore. <laughs> I like, think the snow was was melted though, so there was no rolling just, even I if mean, we wanted to. I mean, to. just in general, like we, a lot of the stuff we used to, we just didn't find fun anymore, mm-hmm. which is kind of depressing if you think about it. I but know. um, no, we were just kind of walking and talking, and then yeah, I guess we just like hear yelling. How how do I not remember a giant brawl? Has there have been in, many. In, in... No, but I ha- I'm. It's, I only remember the one. And it, you're talking about things that happened yearly. <laughs> it was a sort of like blink or you miss it moment where it was at the end of the year where you had to be really paying attention to see the brawl happen. Because they actually, they didn't do anything about it. On, because, what, okay, to give some context, what the, the supervisors would often do is they would call the principal because they were useless. And they, they needed someone with actual authority. So they'd call them in and they just authority. wait. Yeah, yeah. So they they just wait. They just let it play out. And then they just dole out punishments after. Yeah, and usually they weren't they weren't that bad. But you you know I I'd, I'd get detention would, for no reason. The most it would be was you stay inside for one recess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The least it would be was just you didn't get sent down to the office. I remember vividly bullshitting my way out of so much. I, I definitely admired the fact that you're able to get away with just using your, your school laptop to play, like... Roblox? Yeah. <laughs> you would play Roblox and you'd play Newgrounds all the time. But, yeah, I'd go on Newgrounds all the time. And then they blocked it, and I was so mad. Well, you still managed to play Stickman Adventures and stuff. Well, yeah, because that's because I went on uh, the stickgame.com or whatever it's called. Yeah. But yeah, they blocked Newgrounds, which I understand because Newgrounds hosts a lot of uh, yeah. NSFW stuff. Like, really, really, like, they have an adult section of, like, art and stuff. But yeah, they blocked it, so I couldn't play on that anymore, unfortunately. So I had to go find a new website, which I found in, like, what was it? Oh, what did I play on? I think it was cool. No, Awesome Games? Yeah, I, th- there was a set, yeah. It hosted, like, <laughs> hundreds of games, and it was so cool. And now that website's going to be obsolete soon. Yeah, the, uh, the yeah, one that yeah. I always use was Andcon Arcade. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Ar- there was Armor Games. I was yeah. a Mini Clips kid. Oh, Mini oh, Clips yeah. is fun. I mean, yeah, I love going on that one. Congregate. To let school. you guys know, our school was basically, <laughs> like, super into Flash games. Like, that is, like, we were at the peak of Flash. Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, like, it was just constant cool math games and stuff. And, Definitely Mini Clips was the big one, though, I think. Mm-hmm. But, like, I remember on the last day of school, we'd all just hop on the computer and play Mini Clips. We did that even in high school a bit, but... um. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially especially in my uh, business, my, my grade 9 business class, instead of, like, actually, like, developing our website, <laughs> we would just be playing, like, Counter-Strike ripoffs. That was communications <laughs> technology completely... Um, that was so funny. Well, I mean, Dude. we finished our work first. It's oh, just yeah. that stuff happened. Yeah. Well, you guys did. Yeah, oh, I mean... <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> you guys did. I would always do my stuff at home. That's true. You I prefer feel... to do yours at home. I feel like we have to have another podcast just for, like, high school memories, because that's, like... High school like, isn't... Crazy. Those. High those school are wasn't so crazy, but, like... Yeah. It was still pretty fun. There are things that happened. I actually remember things that happened in high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can contribute to this. You know, speaking of Flash, though, I remember, I think it was, damn, I think it was summer of 2008. And this was, like, the height of the Gummy Bear song. It had just come out. And they took us to the computer lab to just mess around before the the bell rang to let out school. And... For whatever reason, everyone just had the idea to just simultaneously play the Gummy Bear song on every computer in the lab, and the teacher just <laughs> lost her mind. I, I think I think what they also played was the Peanut Butter Jelly song with the dancing banana. That was pretty... You know, you know what that reminds me of? Have you seen that video where it's like a computer lab that just goes Lebra James <laughs> on all the different computers? <laughs> That's like, exactly what that. I like. I have, another, I have another story that you guys will remember... I feel like the only I, I have physical pain over this, but I feel like I just have to like you know vent about this to kind of move on from it and let go, because <laughs> you guys know and anyone watching will know that 
video editing has been my passion for a very long time since That's I was a very young. <laughs> Basically the equivalency. Movie Maker was pretty amazing. Ooh, Movie Maker, baby. One track of video. Let's go. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I would uh, always want to show people my video work. So I would, oh, make, this the, uh... Uh, I would make videos uh, for a couple different things. I'd have holiday specials and there would be a lot of uh, video projects for school. And uh, when I go back and I look at these, I am physically, I'm in shock from the fact that I actually showed people this <laughs> stuff. It is physically paining to actually think I unironically was like, yeah, this is good. I'm going to show this to people. And I watch it. And you, you would see, I had like the biggest smile on my face. I was like, this is amazing. Everyone's going to love it. And it just never got good reception from people because in retrospect they were terrible some of them were good like um i, I think our, one? our history one and uh the uh the health one which is definitely oh, the uh that it didn't show in ooh. full i don't think we've told that story i think that's probably the the closer on this podcast that story because that's a doozy it'll take a few minutes Units. And I'll let Logan explain that one because he deserves uh. to finally explain that. <laughs> like, you know, the history one that, you know, Caleb, that me and fun. another friend made, that one was pretty amazing. And we actually got to show that. I, I think I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, there's the some... one where I broke your box for Donkey Kong. No, you broke my We Play Motion box. Well, that's what it you, was. You fell on top of it. <laughs> It's okay. I, I, I get to look at it. I look at the damaged box and I always remember. <laughs> you know, like, I think the school projects were good, but when I would make, like, a holiday special, like, I remember I made a Halloween video that was literally just a but. I don't know what I was thinking. I insisted. My mom told me, this is bad. You need to, like, spend more time on it. And I was like, no, it has to be out in time for Halloween. And my mom's like, you do realize you just put a bunch of, like, random clips together that have, like, no similarity. Okay, I think if I remember correctly, it was a video of Minecraft, a video of Club Penguin, and then a video of Caleb slapping himself. That was the video. I, I don't know what, what inspired me to actually show that to anybody, but there you go. Yeah. Like, what is wrong was, with me? I look bad. Video. I have to remember that I was very enthusiastic about this stuff at the time. It, it got me to where I am today, making Let's Play videos, so. Who's the real winner here? <laughs> No one. None of us. And speaking of no one winning, I want Logan to finally tell you guys the story of our doomed health video project featuring Mr. Rock in grade 8. Uh, this is just probably the worst thing you'll hear all day. So, <laughs> uh, Okay, so we, Set the had scene. To do, we had to do a video on safe school, safe school spaces. Like, Mentally healthy Basically the mental health to help promote good things at schools they really needed it that <laughs> yeah <laughs> true <laughs> so we got me and jackson and two other of our friends were in a group together and we decided to do a video because jackson edited mm -hmm. so we just when we got to recording one of the examples was you know bullying and what happens when people get bullied they get the crap beat out of them. So we did very playful and exaggerated. Very exaggerated. And exaggerated. Like, I think it's important. I will important. say people were thrown. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think... like they were hurt. I think it's important to definitely note that there were two important factors going into this. The first thing was we had a lot of fun writing it, but we did it on very low time. It was very much a crunch kind of process because he gave us like a week to make it. And we filmed it in like a weekend. Like we made sure that we got the thing done. We had to plan it, record it, edit it, and we were really proud of it. And also we were making this video from the mindset that grade eight students are going to be watching this video on mental health. No oh, yeah. one's probably gonna want to watch it or care. So we thought, okay, these people are mature enough that I think if we put in some visual gags and stuff, it, you know, it'll get the point across, but it'll also be entertaining, which, you know, is good. So we all, we record everything, we edit everything, and then we go to present it. It's like, all right, we're going to go to the gym to show this off. 
okay. So we went to the gym. What and there's a grade see? four class in there. A grade four class. And it's like, we're going to show this to them. Oh, God. <laughs> so uh, if you didn't catch it, that wasn't our demographic. <laughs> so it's the old, the worst thing in, in that video was literally just people fighting. Yeah. Not like actual brawls, just people either getting pushed or thrown or tripped. Yes. And we were trying to show that was bad. Yeah, like, it, when there was one of those, like, gags with physical comedy, it would then cut to Logan or me, one of because we were, like, the hosts, and we'd have, like, these little cutaways where it would show you, like, a scenario, right? And then we would, like, explain what that has to do with the subject at hand. So it wasn't, like, just a bunch of nonsense. There was an actual point behind it. We actually worked on that. So... It, the video plays, and there, and then when it gets to the physical comedy, the kids are laughing, and he stops it, being like, "All right, that's enough for today." He takes us across. You know that wasn't very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think what always gets to me is that the video wasn't really that long. It was, it was barely ten minutes, pretty short. He stops it, like, not even halfway through, and the kids are laughing so hard that you can't even hear what we're saying. And, uh, you know, I think Logan basically said it best when he was just basically berating us about it not being inappropriate. But it's important to note that he was doing this in front of the class. He's like, uh, a few notes, guys. Uh, I don't think you guys took the video project seriously. I think you, you were, that was inappropriate. And I, we look at each other, and I could just see the rage just, like, <laughs> subtly setting in. I have never felt so much pain and agony in my life. Do you remember what the worst part was, Logan? What? I don't know. He extended the due date by a month because no one else finished. Oh yeah, that's right. We, my group, uh, I think actually I think my group did finish. Because oh. we had, I don't remember what we did, but I do remember we actually got it like on time for once. But I do remember us getting it done and you guys getting it done, and then nobody <sighs> else did. Yeah, this man, Mr. Rock, probably my least favorite person I've ever met. Honestly. We wanna. Do we wanna explain the dance stuff? Oh my yeah. god. How do we. You know, it's so funny to me because, like, you know, I. There's so okay. Much. There were so many things he did, right? Where I never stood up for myself. I just wanted to get. You know, I wanted to just put up with it. You know, you wanted move that on. degree and you wanted to go. Yeah, I wanted my graduation <laughs> diploma and leave. I, uh. But, I was uh, the opposite because I just did not listen to him. He broke me. When he stopped the video halfway through. I, you know, it would have been one thing to be like, oh, you know, I didn't take it seriously. And he actually finished the video. But... Whose phone is ringing? That's mine. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, keep going. I, this was the one time, like, I think you might remember, Logan, where I'm like, I'm talking to him. I'm not letting this go. And I literally, yeah. I, I go up to him and I remember, I'm like, oh my god, this phone. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking walk over to him, and I'm like, Mr. Rock, I hope you realize that we put an insane amount of time into it, we put a lot of thought into the writing, and you didn't tell us that you were going to show it to grade 4 students, because we made this with the demographic of grade 8 students in mind, so that they would actually enjoy watching the video and get the point across. And he's like, alright, well, uh, you, can, you, you can talk to me at lunch. Like, he freaking shrugs me off, and so I'm like, alright, fine, fine. I, I freaking, I had him at lunch with my freaking flash drive, and I insist, I'm like, Mr. Rock, you're gonna watch the whole damn video, or so help me God, watch the video, and he's like, okay, I'll watch it, I'll take your word for it, I was a little harsh, like, I, I think something important, and Caleb can definitely explain this further, his entire demeanor was just so insulting for some reason. He act, yeah, he acted like he was the total power, like he... Like, he almost, like, he was having a power trip with, with like, yeah. his position. It was, 
But he had an ego. Disturbing. Like he oh, felt like he was he amazing. Did he actually genuinely he... insult you guys once? Uh, oh my uh, god! We'll forget, well, hold on, hold on. How did we let's, forget let's, that? Let's, hold on, let's finish your story first, because that's that's that comes across with the dance stuff too. So yeah, you go, you keep going on with your stuff, and then we'll get to that. Yeah, because like you know, he would always just like he had the biggest ego. He felt like you know I'm the best. Like I'm really you know helping students succeed. I'm the best. Uh, and he would just make all these assumptions, and you know. This is obviously not the first encounter with him. Uh, this is definitely near the end. Because uh, he just continues to do the exact same trash like this. Because he watches it and he doesn't really have anything to say. He, he's not willing to admit that he was wrong. You know, he was just kind of like, Well, guys, I, you know, I, it was a fine video. I, I agree with what you said about the grade four students. I'm just like, just shut up and give me my flash drive back. I'm sick of your crap, man. And that was the end of it. But uh, basically, I think before we end the video, I think since we've told you guys uh, this much about Mr. Rock, uh, I think we have uh, we have a few stories. We have the uh, the story Aaron brought up where he uh, insulted us to to our faces. The dance story, and finally, I think it's it's only fitting that we uh, discuss the part where he, uh, he, before even knowing who I was, uh, targeting me during class, because that's that's a fun story I like to tell. <laughs> what story right. do you want to start with first? Caleb, tell the dance story, because I think, I think you, uh, uh, you okay. want to there's tell a few, that. There's a few moments out of those I think classes. you were in a, were you in the same group as Logan and I? Um, for one time. For he, a couple times. So there, there's yeah. a few things. I, yeah. Let me go through it. Cause so the, the, fir yeah. the first time, what happened was me and one of my friends who I've known since kindergarten, uh, we got put into a duo for a dance thing, and I'm like, dancing is stupid. I don't, I don't know why we're doing this. So I just refused to do the dance. My other friend who was in my group actually did the dance. Um, so there was that, and then next, the next time I was in your group. And this ties in with the insult story thing, yeah. too. So we were kind of just standing around, you know, figuring out what to do. We, we didn't really have an idea yet. We were just kind of standing around talking about it. And then... We, we brought out our phone because we came up with an idea for the, the song we oh, were going to yeah. use. And so we, we were, were gonna, playing it so we, were, we could practice the dance. Yeah, and we could, like, listen to the song. Um, and then he comes up. Uh, if you want to explain it. Logan, do you remember this? I do. I do remember this one. Oh my god, I I, I, I memorized exactly what he said, because we're just like stay, we're huddled around the phone, like get, getting the song ready, and we're about to practice, and he just stands up and just out of the blue, he says, "Oh, I'd like a pepperoni on my pizza," and we're looking at him like, "What the hell?" We're just like, we're just like, "What are you talking about?" I remember when I first heard that. It was so out of the blue and just so out of nowhere. I thought he was telling a joke. Yeah, but then he says, I'd like pepperoni in my pizza because you're all going to be working in a pizza parlor. Directly implying that we're going to fail. We're going we're gonna to fail. We're going to fail school and we're not going to get a real, a quote unquote, real job. That's basically think, what he was saying. I think after he left, I said, yo, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I kept feeling like I should have said, hey, my dad works at a pizza parlor. Really funny. Oh man, and I, I, we literally, I remember us just being frozen, just like in complete awe that we had just been directly insulted like that. And you know, we would have defended ourselves, I think, but we were just so confused. Oh, yeah, I, it, I was very confused about what the hell he said. I'm like, what? And it's really funny, too, because this was, like, the second time he was making us do it, right? Because, like, I actually forgot about the duo dance thing. That was even more embarrassing. Because, Caleb, I remember you didn't show up to the final dance, so... No, I did show up. I just sat there. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just didn't do anything. I just sat there. I know. Well, oh, for those wondering what the song was, it was, uh... The safety no, dance? No, that was the safety dance. Oh, yeah, the second one was Alice Cooper. I remember the dance consisted of us marching in place, and then at the end we all fall down. Very comedic. Very funny. He loved it, though, so that's great, because, you know. Uh, but uh, I think the one thing that will always make me mad was the final dance uh, assignment he gave us, where, like, he, he gave us a very short amount of time to do it, because he just loved the dance unit for some reason. And I also it, didn't participate yeah. in that one either. Yeah, we did Schools Out, and we came up with an actually pretty good uh, 
routine for that, and we did it. Um, I hope you know this already, but if you don't, I went into all of those dance classes knowing I'm not going to do it. I kind of figured. I would have hoped uh, that you would help us out, but you... No, I helped you guys out. No, no, like, during the actual performance, but I didn't actually oh, expect yeah, it. Yeah, no, anyway. no, I never, I never intended on actually doing the dance. He helped, so, you know. I helped make the dance and such. I just never did it. It was like the equivalency of us, like, just sitting in the back working on our, like, styrofoam cell projects. <laughs> just, like... Those were so fun. Yeah. yeah. That was probably the most fun that we ever had. Just, like, that just the, sitting in the back. The, um, in the, uh, what I, I call it, I call it biome box. Do you remember <laughs> that? Where it's, like, we had, like, the different, like, world habitats. We put oh, them in, like, yes! boxes. That one was fun. Man, I want to go back to those days where we had the arts and crafts units because it was literally just sitting there making weird stuff for our projects and we just got to mess around and like make stupid stuff and make jokes and talk for a long time. Like that, I, I miss school like that because I yeah. think I think high school sucked because we actually had to like perform somewhat well and we weren't always in the same class. That was your thinking. That was not mine. I know, but, like, we, we weren't really in the same stream, so I only got to see you during some of our electives, which oh, man. sucked. My English classes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude. Logan was there was for a couple of them. Two of them. Oh, two of them. The <laughs> other one, the other ones you weren't there, though, but um, That was, like, was a special. super villain laugh there, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, that was old. the class. No, we'll get we'll get to that someday, but uh, Not yeah. someday. the dance the dance routine. I think what really enraged me about that was that we literally were so stressed out about it because it's embarrassing, right? Like it's because he he really insists that we do these like really like he has these high standards for stuff, and like I don't know why, but like our our rationale was like you know if we are being forced to do it because we don't really want to get on his bad side any more than we already are. Like, we might as well try and do a good job. But then at the end, he tells us that he isn't marking them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just dropped that on us. And then he insisted that if no one else volunteered to go after announcing that, that he would make us perform it at the year-end assembly. Which was insane. Because, uh, let, let me preface, one of the <laughs> groups, and I think this gets a chuckle out of me every, every now and then, because just visualizing it was is just so so bizarre to me and you guys might remember maybe you just tried to erase it from your memory but one of the groups literally did a like one for one dance routine of whip nene oh that i that remember really that funny. i'm not even surprised at this and point. just for those of you at home just imagine a bunch of grade eight kids okay doing the most aggressively enthusiastic performance of the whip nene dance you've ever seen and just Mr. Rock, just with the biggest grin on his face, he's so into it. Little, little does he know that they didn't come up with any of it. I was just dumbfounded. I was like, is this real life? That's, that's, that's how that went. But okay, for our last story, we got to go back to the beginning. We got to go to the origin story of how we, got, you know, how are we introduced yeah. to the man himself? So, okay, at our school, we had a thing called indoor recesses. Basically, if it was raining, they would make us go inside, but they would, you know, they wouldn't let us go anywhere. Uh, but it's in our classrooms. they insisted that we had supervision for the classes. So there wasn't enough people because all of the teachers would go home for lunch or just not do it. Um, so all of the primary students, grade one, two, three, they had no one to watch them, which is just stupid. Um, so all of the kids who would do that, they were doing music because they're band kids. Uh, so they would literally walk into classes and they'd basically draft you. You know, it was either waste your class doing nothing in, uh, in either Recess. detention or, you know, the, the office. Or you just watch over these kids. And it would be, you know, it would occasionally be mildly entertaining because these kids were just like... I can't they were cracked that. out, dude. They were insane. <laughs> Every single kid there was just crazy. Um, but, you know... After you do it, you feel like, okay, I better get my recess next time. Because we had, like, consecutive rainy days, right? Rainy day rolls around. Here comes the supervisor trying to draft someone into the supervision again. And I had already done it the previous day. So she's asking people. And everyone else does what you would imagine they do. And they say, this isn't my job. Why should I have to do it? You know, that's not fair. This is my recess, my time. 
So she's getting fed up because she's annoyed that no one's listening to her. Why should they? Uh, but she finally gets to me, her last resort, because she thinks that just because I happened to do it last time, she can rope me into doing it again. So she asks you, Caleb, and obviously you're just like, no, because you're, well, you're, you're busy. Well, for one, you're busy. Yeah, I'm on my laptop. Yeah, you're on so your laptop. Up, and, and she comes up and she goes, are you able to do it? I'm like, no, I, I... And I think she got the picture that, like, it would take way too long for me to just <laughs> pack up my stuff just to watch for a recess. Because everything was set up already. And, she, and then I'm yeah. like, no, nah, I'm eating right now. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she just went away. And you're gaming. But that too. But she, 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 like, steps over to me. And she, she's like, you're, you're doing it. And I, and I didn't say no. I didn't say this isn't my job. I said, and I will, I, you can trust me that this isn't a biased experience because I remember I this heard, I picture heard it. perfectly. I said, sorry, but I already did it last week. Could you pick someone else? It was probably more polite than I ever should have been because I was just trying to get her off my back and she just loses her mind. She just gives up. She doesn't move on to Logan. She just gives up. <laughs> She she goes to she goes to like the PA speaker and she's like that's it I'm calling the vice principal so uh, we uh, this is this is when uh, Mr Rock has just become the vice principal of the school so you know he we we don't know him he doesn't know us he doesn't he's he's new oh no 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 I know him yeah well <laughs> for, ob for obvious reasons but yes. you guys he don't fought everyone. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just sitting there like, oh, come on, that's stupid. And like, I w we were under the impression that nothing was going to happen to me because like, I was very polite. And he comes down and literally, it's like the most immature stuff I've ever seen in my life. She's just like standing behind him all like, almost like a little kid. Like, he did it. Like, she's like pointing at the kids. And like, every time she points at someone, you can just see their face go into like unbridled rage. I think she actually might have pointed to me first because I was apparently that memorable. She's like, it was you. These kids were being rude and disrespectful. And I'm like, what? And, I, you know, I had never really had an experience with, like, the administration like that where I was quote-unquote in trouble. So, obviously, being the power-trippy guy he is, he kind of just acts as if he knows us already. He basically acts as if we are all troublemakers who are going to fail. He really liked to act as if kids were going to fail. I mean, um, we were trouble. Well, okay, maybe not you, but... Well, we were kind <laughs> of misbehaving. Of we were very loud and rowdy, but... And this is recess. Yeah, it's indoor recess. We haven't been outside. What do you expect us to do? Yeah, seriously. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I knew this, but he's like literally saying, like, I, I was getting berated. He was just looking at us like, you guys are doing bad. You guys are real bad. You don't treat people like that. You gotta just do what you're doing. And I'm like, I don't know what this guy's on about. One of the other kids, you know, he actually backs us up. He's like, this isn't our job, though. Like, he's basically saying everything you would probably say in my place. But, uh, I just didn't want to get a bad impression because I just was not interested in spending my last year getting targeted by the vice principal. Still did anyway, so that's cool. Um, but I remember looking at you guys, and you guys were just looking at me like, I could tell you guys actually felt bad for me. What the hell? I was hell? confused on what was happening. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Because I couldn't... I when When the... VP came up. I had my headphones on, so I couldn't really understand what was going on that well. And then I look over and I see you getting like basically yelled at. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I was like so confused. I didn't want to get up and say because I didn't want to get in trouble. And I feel bad, but I really didn't want to get in trouble for just yeah trying some like you know because this guy was a sociopath. I don't I don't know. I mean the guy the, the everyone else was defending themselves, and I just wanted to get out of there, which I feel bad about. But I, I basically said the equivalent. I don't remember exactly, but it doesn't matter. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come across that way. You know, it wasn't my intention. I, I basically just gave, like, whatever that they wanted to hear, I gave it to them. Because that just seemed like the smart yeah. move. And, and I, I'm going to be honest. I received probably what was one of the most demeaning, insulting responses I've ever heard in my life, especially coming from someone who had never met me before, doesn't know what I stand for, doesn't know what my, you know, what my characteristics happen to be. He literally tells me, good start, you're going down a better path than these kids. 
you're going on the right. Like he's basically saying like I'm I'm terrible, but like I'll get there eventually. And I'm like, I was yeah. speechless. Also, at the same time, insulting literally everybody yeah. else. Yeah, it's like literally everybody else in the room just got like roasted to hell and back. Like okay. And I didn't mean to like put those other kids in that position, but like. I just want, I was, you know, I have like the worst social anxiety imaginable. I just wanted to get out of there. And he's just like, sit back down. And I sit back. Like, I, I remember vividly sitting beside you guys and just like putting like my, my head in my hands. Like, what? How did I get here? <laughs> and that was how I, I, that's how most of us were introduced to the guy. So it was a very bad start. He was just probably the worst teacher, worst vice principal imaginable. If, if, if you're wondering where he is now, He's the principal of a school. A really, really sh school, by the way. Yeah, he's basically hasn't changed. You know, uh, if you think that's where it ends, we have lots more tales to tell. But I think we'll leave that for another time for another podcast because this has been our longest, longest one by far. Yeah, oh, definitely. We had a lot of stories, but I feel like, you know, I think this is, this is fine. Thanks for uh, sticking with us, because I know I haven't uploaded all too much, especially this summer. Been way too busy working on the projects. Uh, if you haven't seen the update video, it'll be uh, up already, so uh, check it out to see what the plans are. Dipper Games returns uh, this fall. Look forward to that. <laughs> so, yeah. And speaking of fall school, so hopefully your school experiences weren't, a or they aren't as bad as what we described today, because... Golly, that was, if you believe it or not, the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yes. A very, very, very big iceberg. <laughs> so I feel like this whole thing was just Aaron just listening to a bunch of traumatizing stories. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I, I did that in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like it was a good topic. So um, mm -hmm. thank you guys for joining me for the podcast. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. It was a very fun. Uh, I think we should probably do more of these because they're, they're easy to get together and uh, uh, I, miss yeah. I miss talking to you guys like this so mm -hmm. we should definitely do it <laughs> yeah. more uh, but you guys won't have to miss us because we're coming back uh, we're coming right back uh, to turn on your television play the show <laughs> yeah that's <Watch>. all <laughs> that's all folks thanks for watching thanks for watching our television like we'll comment be... subscribe and rate the video <laughs> rate right, five video. stars give us Despise, uh, leave a, leave a video reply. And leave a, <laughs> a video leave response. Your video okay. res leave your video response and we'll feature on the next episode of Equals 3. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color that <laughs> must exist? What's your least favorite color, actually? <laughs> That's a good one. And why do you hate it so much? <laughs> Alright, points, finger guns, watch Owl House, and uh, keep gaming. Play Pikmin 3. That's that's my tip of the day. Play play it so I can get Pikmin 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Play it. It has to. All right, that's enough. Uh, uh, if you if you if you don't <laughs> if you don't mind, we're gonna go screen the first episode of Hardcore. No, we're gonna go back to playing Animal Crossing on Earth. <laughs> 3DS. No one plays New Horizons who has a heart. I was heart. literally playing New Horizons for half of this call. Did you receive my letter? I did. I liked the melon ball you gave me. That okay. was very nice. Good. Any, <laughs> any more service announcements? I don't even know anymore. Service wear announcement. Your mask, like and subscribe. Wait, wait, yes, wear your mask. Wash yes. your hands. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Stay away from people. Watch hydrate, hardcore hydrate. this fall. Yeah. Eat your veggies. Bye. Bye. Watch Veggie Tales. Bye. <laughs>